Beat it. gonna call it I don't know because it, it sounds like beat it thing at first but instead of beat it beat I was gonna say something but that's very not that's not nice can't call it that plus that's not gonna be a song that's just fun with rhythm fun with drums you know I like to do that usually not with anybody listening just hit whatever and try to play along to it and that's what I stopped doing I used to do it all the time and I can't find me doing that for the past three years. So that means 2015. Got to start doing it again. That's how you get. You can practice to a metronome. You can practice to a drum beat. It doesn't matter. You have to learn how to lock in the groove. Especially if you're a bass player. And that's why I put up two examples of me in the pocket. If you go onto my YouTube 
or Facebook account. There's two songs, Preach This and Slut Strut, where I'm just plugged in from my 76 Gibson Thunderbird right into the board. Got that too fast for love tone going, and I'm in the pocket. And that and the drummer was good in, on that band. He was a he was a good like a he wasn't bam bam bam. He would put in little grooves and stuff. And so was my other drummer, Rudy. He was great. Daz Bash. He was in Paradise. He was too bump bump bump. It was like playing with a metronome. I don't like it. I need feel. But he was good. I mean, hey, he went on to Paradise. They still play a few gig <laughs> competition. I can't say anything about. But uh, there you go. So uh, yeah, because if it wasn't for me, Daz Bunk wouldn't have done anything. He was his head is in a couple of videos, and he's playing fake drums. I mean, he's not actually playing in some Alice Cooper uh, single that was put out for a soundtrack. He's the drummer, but he's not on the album. But he was in my band Stiletto. Everybody had minimal minimum success, <laughs> and then <laughs> even the only guy that I know, Brent, my friend that was in, we were friends in junior high and then high school. He prepped out. He always prepped out. So when he'd do that, I would I'd stick with the rock, man, metal. And uh, I see him playing today uh, on YouTube because he's in uh, Sebastian Box band. And he's just so, he's, he can play anything, but he's too much of a, a jukebox now. There's no rent there. It's just whatever he's told to play. And I, that's sad because that guy's talented. He's the one that introduced me, told me, go over to Randy's house. It's in between my house and his house it was Randy. I had to go down that street. That's the guy. He's, and I'm like, this guy's way better than me. I better make that move. And there you go. The rest is uh, history. And But I will not vouch for anybody about Randy except for myself and the family. No, Anybody else on the internet, I don't know if you knew him. All these people claiming they know him. Maybe they saw him play once. It, you know, whatever. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. He was just a man. I got all the guitars, and I love the guitars. And I play like them because me, or him, and Craig Turner had the same style, basically. So it kind of... But, you know, I didn't play guitar for 25 years. I was in the film industry after that. So reasons, reasons, excuses. <laughs>